Hi everybody, it's Amalia and I'm here with another haul from Michaels. I live in the New York City metropolitan area and we have a ton of Michaels in this area and I went to another one and I found these Stadler Fimo polymer clay cutters. So I got some more of the different shapes that they have and they were $3 a piece. So I thought that was a good deal. I also found these and these are projects for da, uh, dot painting and they have all the lines marked out for the different projects on the other side are the different designs and here is an example of one of my favorite crafty gifts that I received and so I was really excited to find these they were regularly priced for like $4.99 but they weren't even marked on sale or discounted and I got them for $1.99. Uh, I got a few more things as well. I needed some findings and these were interesting. These are shiny gold. The second package is like a matte gold. And then I got these gunmetal pieces as well. Um, so I got the findings for those and uh, these were all marked down to like a dollar. So, so happy about those. I needed some rose gold findings and some gunmetal findings. I got got these additionally the, these were discounted as well all of these pieces were a dollar then let's see what else did I get this was in the as is section um, I don't even know how many are in here but it was a dollar 75 and I figured however many are in here is a good deal because I need some of these bags then a new find that I'm really excited about this is from recollections which is the Michaels brand and these are stencils these were only two dollars can you believe that not only are these two dollars but there's three different stencils in this package and they're uh, grid marked as well which makes uh, great for uh, lining up on your cards this particular one has grasses and hillsides and maybe clouds I think that is but uh, those are also mountainsides with the peaks then this one is also hills with grassy hills actually different four different styles on the different ends and then uh, this one is clouds now I have a cloud stencil already but um, I just thought this was really fascinating two dollars for all three of these and they're all grid lined which I think was a terrific deal this was three dollars which is you know a decent price but uh, a long ended spatula is a great tool in your kitchen and uh, I decided to get this this is a cake maker thing and you get to make a little uh, unicorn with this this was a waste of money for me <coughs> but now that I have it maybe I'll use it for my uh, clay work my polymer clay work instead of cake decorating um, because uh, I thought they would be something different but they were exactly as they appear to be these just cut out their plungers plunging cutters they cut out these three different size circles and you use the plunger on the back to just push them out of the cutter um, so three dollars for those and hopefully they'll work well with my polymer clay the next thing I got was this craft makes lockable this is a seven unit lockable storage container it was uh, $7.99 but their storage stuff was 40% off so uh, I got it for 40% off but I got this because uh, I wanted something else to put my sequins in I have been using this um, this stackable round stackable thing where each section screws on to the next section and it's just getting loose and it doesn't really screw very tightly and I was finding it annoying and I wanted something better so um, this is a lockable storage thing and the little purple bar that's going through the bottom of the container is what keeps it locked you press it to open up the mechanism and you can open up whichever drawer you want and when you close the lid you need to depress the mechanism again so that it fits and the lock can can lock when you release the purple thingy um, you know don't have it pressed down it's not going to open up on you and each unit of this seven unit piece looks like it has a section in it where you could actually add another plastic piece to cut that in half but it doesn't come with it so maybe it's something you have to buy separately 
I did a little shopping on Amazon as well and you see these brown brushes I've had these for a while now and these are the makeup brushes that crafters have been using and I picked up these white ones on Amazon with the multicolor handles because they're so cute and uh, I recently used the makeup brushes for some blending techniques and I really like how it turned out even better than the blending foams so I decided to pick up a whole collection I think this is uh, 10 brushes and I also picked up these two tubes uh, of brushes that are smaller end brushes and they connect onto one another but you could fit them in your hand really well or on your finger if you want to use it and I think these will be great for blending in small spaces or small amounts and I plan on using one for regular uh, dye based inks and the other ones for my oxide inks. That's my haul everybody. Here's a sneak peek of my next project. Thanks so much for stopping by. Bye!